Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sauce Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. So today, we're doing something that I waited for a long time. Like when I saw it first time, I was like, I want to smoke that. So it is the E.P. Carrillo Car Perez Carrillo Uncle Black. Unfortunately, I got a box that's kind of like a little bit damaged. But I have a feeling that this is not going to be my only box, so I don't really care. All right, so... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get another buck somewhere. All right. So, Uncle Black, <clears throat> brown wood and black wood box, 10 cigars. Like that. Not, 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 not a lot of details here, but let's see the inside. This, this is like a really good color thing. It's like cigar, old man cave kind of thing. I like that. So, first piece of paper in here says... Actually, I'll just let you read it. There you go. Alright. Just pause and read it. A lot easier than me trying to read it. Cigars in here. 10 cigars. So, let's take a close look at the cigar. Shall we? E.P. Carrillo, Uncle Black. Size. Five and three eighths by fifty two. It is a soft box pressed cigar. The wrapper is Connecticut broadleaf. Binder is Mexican San Andreas. The filler is Nicaraguan Condega Esteli Jalapa. All right. Uh, MSRP is seventeen dollar a cigar. It comes in a box of ten, and supposedly they only made. 5,000 boxes, which is a lot. <laughs> and um, initial release is only 2,000 bucks. So they will have more. Like if you didn't get it out, watch this review. Then you can get some more. All right. Okay. All right. So now also, um, this cigar looks really, really, really like broad leaf. Like, right? okay, just speed up, broad, uh, you know, Crumbled up, looking very broadleaf like look. The reason why they don't use broadleaf outside anymore. <laughs> because it's so dry. But yeah, it's another one of those uh, Mexican Sandra's uh, combo with the Connecticut broadleaf. So. Alright, so that being said. Yeah. This is the, the piece of black wrapper that they put on bottom to make it. I don't know, look nicer because the cigar itself looks really like. Beat up. Like. Be, be, beat up dry and beat up and oily and beat up All right so just that one of these black paper yeah oh my god what did you do <laughs> smell like bread toast Oh, dry is good. Leathery and mushroomy and fermenty. And woodsy. 
almost a little bit sweet too. All right, let's light it up. Whoa. Leathery, woodsy. Charred wood. A little bit bitterness to that with that charred wood. Oak. Sun mineral and earthiness. This thing's strong. This thing is medium plus to start with. This thing's dark. Tastes the char. Tastes like the. This thing needs a bourbon to go with that. Wow! I like immediately makes me want to drink a bourbon. Manly taste. Ooh, a little bit of vanilla in the back. A little bit of creaminess. That woodsy tone. It's not like a. Cedar wood tone. Oh, pepper just ramped up. Oh, pepper. Hello. Wow. This is a manly cigar. A little bit floral as well. Because it's so woodsy and floral combination, a little bit of that bitterness, it tastes like a a cologne of some sort. Like if this is a cologne, fine, I can understand that. But oh my god, pepper! <clears throat> the pepper is getting my nose. You know what? Let me smoke one third because I think I can keep talking about it for one third. So let me smoke one third and give you a summary. Be right back. So at the end of the uh, first third, it starts to get sweeter. It's smoky, it's charred, it's, it's got earthiness, it's got mineral, it's got... It starts to get sweet. And it's a very sweet. It's a very sweet. So, from all that manliness, you add a little bit of sweetness to it. It tastes good, but like, you need to have the right drink to go with this. Because it makes you want to. It makes you want to. It is a medium plus. It's definitely at least a medium, medium plus. Very manly taste. Sweet. With some pepper. Some star anise. Slash licorice. Sweetness. And it holds the burn very well. It tastes good. And I think it's... I don't know why they want to call it Uncle Black. Because it doesn't taste like Uncle. <laughs> um, but very manly. Very, very strong. So we're into the second third now. Like as I'm talking, it's really burning into the second third. This thing burns pretty quick. It burns pretty quick. So we're, 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 we'll come back in second third. Because the first third is really... A transition, get all the strong notes, and then add a little bit into that sweet note range with some pepper. Now let's see what second there gets me. Because this thing burns so fast, I, like, I feel like I haven't got the whole picture. Before that's happening, I'm already in the second third. So let me smoke the second third. We'll be right back. Second third. Now the second third is way more balanced. Way more balanced. Woodsiness and the sweetness all come together. Now it tastes really good. In the beginning, it's very like manly, very char, very dark, right? And the second third is sweet. It's nice. The pepper kind of mellow down. Woodsy. Nutty sweetness. 
it's good. I mean, you can pair this with coffee. You can pair this with bourbon. They both are good. And the pepper kind of just slowly works its way to your nose. It doesn't really just get it get you right away. It gets you a little bit later. It's a good cigar. It's a good cigar, a little tough. Oh, that, that oh, uh, oak, um, woodsy sweetness, some sort of woodsy sweetness. That's just really nice. And there's a little bit like toasted nut to it. So it makes it really sweet and nice. Uh, but I don't like the little bit charred taste in there. If that was gone, just like, you know, all that half is sweet, it's nice. But it doesn't take it away because, like I say, if you pair this with bourbon, it would have been perfect. That little char taste, perfect. But I don't have a bourbon right now because my wife made me drink this milky stuff. It doesn't take it away, though. It still tastes great. 17, though. I honestly want to stay at 15 right now. 15, 16. And I think the only reason is that char taste. Some people might not taste the char taste. Um, and, and maybe it's this particular one too. So, I don't know. Plus the cigar is, itself is ugly. It looks like Freddy Krueger. When I take off that black band, it looks like Freddy Krueger. So, but Patron looks the same way. Can't really put back, you know, complain about it. I don't know. Let's take a look at the band. Gotta take a pop so I keep going. Ooh, tastes good. Um, first we get this Encore Black. Just simply say Encore Black. It doesn't do anything. And then we get the Encore Band. With the black center. So it's still with the th same theme. We just make it much darker. I don't know why they had to put it with it in the encore because they don't taste the same to me. But I guess that's the line they want to do it. You know, if you smoke one, you want an encore. Then yeah. That's what it is. Looks pretty good. I like the I like the band decoration. I mean, I literally wanted to, to buy a box the moment that I saw the band and the decoration together. But uh, like I say, uh, it's like uh, Deadpool. With the mask on, looks great. Took off the mask. You took off this. Holy crap! What happened? Yeah. But once you get to know Deadpool, he's the nice, he's pretty fun guy. You know, just like that. You, you know, get to know this cigar. Pretty nice cigar. So let's get to the last third. We'll see if he gets to the seventeenth. Let's go. Be right back. So we're all done. Last third. Because the flavor kind of died down just a tad. Even better. Even better. And, and you know what? Luster kind of tastes like a regular Encore. It start to, at least. It's got a little bit of that. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. Like a smoky taste or like an EPC taste. That just kind of make it taste like an Encore a little bit. But not, not really. Good cigar. I enjoyed it. Luster... When they melt down, the, the taste is even more friendly. But it's definitely a medium, medium plus though. It's more friendly, tastes good. Um, it did burn a little bit funny, but I don't think it bothered me. Not that much. So, now comes to the question. Is it worth 17? It's rough. Like, I think I'm close. 16 and a half, 17, yeah, maybe, but it wouldn't be a, it would, I wouldn't buy it regularly. It would be like, have a box of 10, smoke it once in a while kind of thing. Um, $17, yeah, I, I, I think, I think the amount of enjoyment is there. I kind of want to deduct like a dollar for the look of after I remove the band, that shock, like, oh, you know, but. But the enjoyment is there. The taste is there. So yeah, I will give it 17. But preferably 15 and a half to 16. Preferably. 
I think I'll be more comfortable at 15. I'll buy a lot more. But at 17, yeah, I can see it. It's just like... Okay, fine, you know? <laughs> it's one of those. So yeah, that's where that cigar is. I liked it. I bought a box. I'm glad I bought a box. I probably will buy another box uh, just to have uh, and smoke it once in a while. If I'm going to enjoy a nice bourbon, that's the one I will go to every time, I think. So, good cigar. Yeah. So yeah, that will be it for this particular review. I hope you like it. If you like, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, uh, 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 join membership, get our swag, listen to our podcast, you know the whole deal. Hate to repeat it. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.